Hi, this is Christy, and um, this month we're featuring the Taste of the Sisterhood, which is where we're sharing some of our favorite recipes and our cooking tips with you. And today I am vlogging about cooking with kids. And so welcome to my kitchen. I have been cooking all week for um, a, uh, an event at my son's school. It's a wild game dinner, and it's where we host about five to 600 hunters that are passing through. Um, because tomorrow is opening season for um, white-tailed deer and so my kitchen's a mess and I have been cooking with my kids all week and I have some tips to share with you on cooking with kids. So the first thing that um, is important is it, it's so good to get your kids involved in the kitchen because if they're helping you cook then they're going to be more willing to try things that they might not try otherwise. And it's fun. It's fun for the kids to get in and help you. And it may not always be fun for you because it just makes it a little bit more complicated and uh, messy. But um, with these few tips that I'm going to share with you, it might make cooking with your kids a little bit more enjoyable. So my first um, tip is to um, pick, a, pick an easy recipe. Don't pick something complicated because if it's got too many ingredients or too many steps, then it's just going to end up a mess and you're going to be frustrated and they're going to lose interest. So if you pick an easy recipe, then the kids are going to have more fun with it because it's going to go quickly. And my second tip is to choose a low stress meal. You don't want to cook with your kids um, dinner the night that they have soccer practice or dance practice or, you know, whatever. That's not the time to cook with your kids. Um, the best time to cook is probably on the weekend when you know you're you don't have a whole lot of things going on and you can get in the kitchen and get everything set up and and just kind of relax and enjoy your time with them um, my third tip is to pre prep everything ahead of time so if you have a recipe say you're baking and you have a lot of dry ingredients you can get little glass bowls like hold on these I have a lot of these little tiny one cup glass bowls and measure out all the ingredients and just get them lined up on the counter so that they're ready to go when the kids do come into the kitchen. So then, you know, it's just a matter of dumping and mixing. And that's really good if you're cooking with younger children, like my daughter, who's almost three. I tend to do that with her a lot. I'll just get everything pre-measured so that she can dump um, everything into the big bowl and then help me mix. Um, for older kids, you don't necessarily have to pre-measure everything because measuring is fun for older kids. If you give them your, your metal measuring cups and give them you know your container of flour and have them scoop out the flour and put it in the bowl. And it's also for older kids a really good chance for you to um, make it a math lesson where you're talking about different measurements and you have a cup and what's you know how many quarter of a cups are in a full cup and you know teaspoons and tablespoons and so it's a little bit more fun for older kids to get into the kitchen and kind of make it a math lesson. Um, another good thing that you can share with your kids is why it's important to wash your hands before you're cooking and why and also why it's important to um, not cross-contaminate things and when you're handling meat and vegetables and you know using different cutting boards and different knives and washing everything good um, you know, and, and with the older kids too, on the recipe, you know, let them read the recipe, let them sit down with a cookbook and, you know, maybe even choose a recipe. There are a lot of cookbooks that are geared toward children. So, you know, they can sit down and look at the pictures. And I know my son loves to go through cookbooks and pick out the things that he wants to make. So that's fun for older children. And, um, I guess really, Cooking with kids is something that you don't have to do all the time because, you know, like I said, it can be complicated and messy and, and, and frustrating sometimes, but getting your kids in the kitchen and letting them learn healthy recipes is such a wonderful um, thing to do with them. I know when I was a kid, I used to love to get in the kitchen with my grandma and, you know, it never failed that it was always biscuits and gravy or, you know, really fatty meals that we cooked. And so that's what I learned to cook and that's what I grew up eating. And so as an adult, I've had to relearn, you know, how to cook healthy things. And so I look at it as if I get my kids in the kitchen with me and we're cooking healthy meals or baking healthy treats, you know, they see what we're cooking. And when they grow up, these are going to be the recipes that they remember because it's going to make an impression on them because it was something that they had fun doing. And so then we're creating a new tradition where we're passing down healthy recipes 
to um, the future generations instead of things like biscuits and gravy. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little vlog, and I encourage you to get in the kitchen with your kids. And if you have any posts that you've ever done where you've cooked with your kids and you've taken pictures or vlogged about it, why don't you share them? Link up in the, in the linky below and let us know um, how it went. And if you do it in the future, definitely come back and let us know too because um, we want to hear about it. Thanks! Thanks for joining us for this Taste of the Sisterhood vlog. Uh, be sure to check out our sponsors' websites because they have sponsored some wonderful prizes that you'll be hearing about soon. AttuneFoods.com is our first sponsor and V8Juice.com.